Just like my dad before me, coffee, blood, sweat, and tears. I'm addicted to the white line, a prisoner of the road. Ain't no cure for this disease, it brings us outlaws and rogues. When they locked me up, they handed me the case. I'm pulling 18 years of life, with no chance of parole. My heart belongs to Jesus, but this highway owns my soul. It's a crime I'm doing time, just to send it on down the line. I'm semi-crazy, my God, it's hard to tell This diamond truck and leather, this might be my patty cell Those pictures on my dashboard where I've watched my kids grow up I thank God they understand the cost of diesel in my blood They know this rambling man and what sets me free I'm pulling 18 years to life no chance of a road. My heart belongs to Jesus, but this highway owns my soul. It's a crime I'm doing time just to send it on down the line. Chance of parole. My heart belongs to Jesus, but this old highway owns my soul. It's a crime I'm doing time just to send it on down the line. I'm pulling 18 years, 18 years, 18 years of life. There's no escape from this addiction, so until the day I Load number two. Chevy, but ain't heading to the levee. Lord have mercy. 
Tennessee shakes a wide On his high step and double clutching Gear jamming, chicken trucking Old school outlaw ride Chicken trucking, big wheels there are humming, high rate of fuel consumption, missing mama needing oven, rolling with the weight of sound. I'm running like the southern shaker, I don't need no 40 acres to turn this rig around. I jacked up like a Chevy, but ain't heading to the levee, Lord have mercy sakes alive. On this club, looking chicken trucking, big wheels there are humming, high ballin', skins are crawling, six days without my darling, high stepping, double clutching, gear jamming, chicken trucking, old school. You just saw Keith get loaded with the uh, with his truck. We're waiting on them to bring over. He's got a Connex box that's going on the back behind it. But uh, got to see his ramps in action. That was pretty cool. Uh, th that the trailer you're seeing there is a low pro step that we talked about in uh, the interview video with him. And I figure we'll go over uh, over securement on these things. Keith. All right. So Keith's truck. You just saw him put it on. Keith's truck weighs. We just found out it weighs 32 and a half thousand pounds, so 32,500 pounds. We got it secured. We're gonna cover that. We'll run up the tow hooks up here for the tie-down points. X chain in each direction. Now these chains are what they call, man, I'm gonna screw this up probably, but I think it's called indirect securement. So we only get half credit for these chains. So the, the 6,600, uh, the 6600 weight rating on these, we're only getting 3300 for that up there. As you know, with 32,500 pounds, you got to have 16,250 pounds worth of securement devices. So right there, we got 6600 pounds up front. Then the, in the back, he did the same thing back here. He's got two chains X. But that wasn't enough to get him over the required securement device. So he threw a, a, another chain on. This one goes all the way across. This is direct securement. So it goes all the way across the other side. He gets full credit for that chain. So right there on those three chains, he's getting 32,500 plus a 6,600. Nope, he's getting 32,500, 32, 12, wow. <laughs> 6,600 times two, 13,200 pounds. Plus up front, he's got the 6,600 as well. So we have roughly 18,000 pounds, a little over 18,000 pounds of securement on this thing for what is required of, of 16. So he's plenty good on that. They are actually loading his, the second piece, he's getting a second piece of Connex box. They're actually loading that right now. That wheel loader they're using right there, that is the wheel loader that Gary's going to be picking up here in a minute. Um, he's going to be picking that one up. I have that exact unit on my trailer right now. I'll go over cover securement on that. Here's mine right here. I did uh, the two X chains in the back. Again, this thing only weighs 27,000 pounds, 27,500 pounds. So <clears throat> I'm required to have uh, half of that in securement devices. So the 27,000 divided by 20 divided by two is a 13,500 plus 250 pounds. So I'm required to have right around 14,000 pounds of securement, we'll call it. And we got two X chains back here. Again, this is direct securement. So, or I don't know, indirect, indirect, whatever it is. It is you only get half credit for it because it doesn't go all the way to the other side. So those two chains give me 6,600 pounds there. And I also have 
back here, I did the same thing. I came off their, their tie down point right there and X chained across, did it on both sides. I get 6,600 pounds for those, so there's 13,200 pounds. And then this bucket here, this bucket actually is not attached to the unit. They got the fork set up on here, and then the bucket is just on the fork. So I had to do something to secure the bucket because it was just sitting there. So I just went ahead and put two straps on it, X crossed. Those straps are actually going from one side of the trailer to the other. So I get full credit for both of those. And you can see right there on the strap, it's rated at 5,400 5, pounds. So there's an additional 10,900 pounds in securement. So I'm way over secured on this thing, uh, which is good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, military loads typically don't get messed with at the scale anyways. How you doing? Um, so not a huge concern, but um, just in case we were to get pulled in and they were gonna check securement on it, uh, we're more than covered on this. Also, um, they were real concerned about their exhaust, so we went ahead and put the turbo saver on up there. Oh, we also, <clears throat> this has the same locking never, um, brace that you've seen in, in a bunch of my videos. This thing spins and when it's in use, this pin comes out and it spins back and goes out of the way. This, we, we folded it forward. This stops it from being able to articulate in the middle. As you know, that's a big deal with DOT, so. Uh, we got that covered and they are getting that last piece on Keith right now. Looks like Keith's being picky. Is that the other wheel loader going? Yeah. He'll be here in about... Gary should be here in about a half hour or so. You good, Gary? I'll try to go. Take out. day one we uh, left the truck or left the uh, shipper up in Cedar Bluff Virginia at roughly 11:30 ish I think um, I got there about 7:30 to load um, Keith had come down la yesterday evening and he got to his his delivery but he couldn't log back in this morning. Um, until You're later. Going in for any reason. Yeah, I'm gonna go in a little bit, take a shower. And more. Um, he couldn't log back in <clears throat> until a bit later this morning, so I got loaded. Then I we staged his uh, his load and Gary's load, got those ready to go. Helped out with some other guys. Um, all in all, they shipped a bunch of loads out today. Got them all staged, got them all uh, 
out of there so that was good um the guy that we worked with he um he was flying out tonight the lieutenant i think he's a lieutenant that uh, we worked with up there did our paperwork and stuff he was flying out tonight to be down at fort polk so he should be there tomorrow when we get there it looks like we're going to get there about um 12 12 30 ish tomorrow afternoon um but made it to Meridian, Mississippi tonight. Left out of there about 11.30. We stopped here. It's kind of late. Later than I like to run at night. But uh, got here about 8.30 Central Time. So uh, looks like GPS says we're about 6 hours and 11 minutes out now. So that's pretty good distance. We'll take it. Uh, but. Keith's inside right now. Okay, we ended up having to reserve parking. His app wasn't working, so he's inside right now paying for his his parking, but walk out here. Check over this load real quick. Make sure everything's okay. There we are. I think Gary's roaming around out here somewhere. Probably checking his lights. Turbo saver's still still there. I ended up, uh, I had some, I had some edge protectors in up there on these straps. You saw it earlier on the video. Uh, didn't really like that. It was uh, run down the road, they were wiggling a little bit. The strap was vibrating and uh, I was just worried they were gonna get cut. So put some rubber on there instead. It wraps all the way over a little bit better. So a little bit more comfortable can keep that the straps from cutting looking good you know everything's holding still so we uh there's keith coming out now we also you didn't see him on the video earlier but we got the old man with us I saw a couple videos ago, a guy I did an interview with, been trucking for 49 years. He, uh, he's here with us. He's got the same load I do. Nice wheel loader. Gary's. Poor Gary and these dang lights. He's forever working on these, these poor lights. See what we got going on. Yeah. <laughs> they put my four flashes on. I came okay. back here, all four flashes are working, but I had no trail lights. I go shut my four flashes off, all the all lights come back. <laughs> I'm going, what? I'm going to try to Man, that's screaming ground. Oh, yeah. I think it's probably double grounded somewhere, is what I'm thinking. You're probably right. It's probably double grounded. Man, finding that is going to be... Well... Hello, needle in the haystack. That's the restaurant's what the... open still, too. I was eating a bunch on the way here because I didn't figure it'd be open, so... Shine your light in there, Keith. Gary and these lights. Song with a heavy note and a rambling 
just the life I chose Sitting here between the doors And the yellow line Keeping time to the things that's running Through my mind Through my mind power going to the freaking they got the power wire going to the freaking left turn signal <laughs> 150 bucks that's 150 bucks and how many hours of your life and they got the power going to the left turn signal well i mean if i'm if i'm right i mean usually this is your turn signal right yeah that's where the power is that's the only place power is yeah power is coming to the left turn signal, which is fucking the whole thing up, it's feeding back through the system. Yep. Because you got your... Keith, what turn signal, did he have left turn signal? He had left, not right. Yeah, so you got left turn signal, you got power going there. I'm going to go hit your turn signal. Let's see what it, at least see what that pigtail does. You got four-way flashers right now. Nope. That's the power on the left turn signal. Whatever you're that, doing that is that causing this light over here to... When you're messing with that, this whole light over here is going crazy. Okay, so this bottom one, watch it dim out, come back on. Or is it just flashing real dim? Because they got the bottom one, is, they got it hooked up to the bottom plug in the left turn signal. You know how you can find out for sure? Yeah, and this ain't blinking at all. Hooked up the turn signal. It should be the top instead of the bottom. It should be the top of the plug. Right. Yeah, the top left, top right. The top left and right should be a turn signal, so they have the bottom left and the bottom right. Which are brake lights, which is, explains why your brakes aren't working. Right. Well, I go test that just by looking to the front plug, make sure that. The make sure you're right. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> right here. Life of an owner operator. <laughs> this poor guy. Probably check right there on the deck, Gary. As long as you got a ground. Texas sun, there ain't no road that we ain't run. Up through the Colorado mountain top, down to the desert where Reno stops, north to the green of Coeur there ain't no road that we ain't seen. We ain't seen.
lot of hell Back in my younger days They were wild days Yeah, wild days Life was just one big joke My head fogged up from the beer and the smoke In my wild days Couldn't see through the haze We had a lot of good times And some bad times too Like when I lost my best friend Tommy Lord, I wish he'd have made it through Wild days Never seemed quite the same Without him there with those in the wild days How we doing? Been here before? Ah, uh, not this base, but I've been to a lot. Oh, okay. Do we know the routine at all? Kinda, yeah, right. Yeah. It's just an ID and the paperwork where you're going. Okay. Just turned 18 in my wild days Racing my car on the mobile roads I had Leonard Skinner on my radio In my wild days Getting sideways My mama always told me Son, I'll be praying for you And I know somehow Man upstairs, he's gonna get you through your wild days. Yeah, he sure did. Cause we were young and didn't have a care. <laughs> well, well, now you know. Uh, the old military loads, we love them. Uh, got on base. <laughs> Got on base, went through our uh, the checkpoint, then checked the truck, did all that stuff, and uh, we got through there. We went to the transportation office, checked in, and they said, uh, "You're not supposed to be here till tomorrow." So, <clears throat> a bunch of phone calls were made. Got the right person on the phone, Lieutenant Riley. Got Lieutenant Riley on the phone, and he got it worked out. They got us checked in. They sent us down here to, they stamped our paperwork, did all that. They sent us down here to the offload point. And we get here and the people that are offloading us here said that because there's no representative from the unit we got this from here, they don't have anyone qualified to run a wheel loader. I, I don't really have words for this, but so we got a hold of Lieutenant Riley again, and uh, this poor guy, he's like an hour away. He's trying to find a ride down here. Apparently he has no ride down here. Um, and he's trying to get his people here so that they can get us unloaded. The problem is, is it's three o'clock now, and they're telling us that if nobody's here by 4.30, they gotta kick us out of here. So, man, I don't know. This is what, we, this is what we're looking at right now kind of cracks me up big yard all kinds of people here no reason that we can't take this thing off but here we sit
So hopefully this doesn't turn into a uh, an extra day. Um, this is probably not good. So see what happens. <laughs> that saga continues. Push it or move, we was shooting stars out of one mile.